This morning, one of my lifelong dreams came true. One of the things I've always wanted to learn was about microcontrollers and processors and, you know, programming chips so I can make robots or devices that communicate with a computer or other devices. About a year ago, I uh, ordered a uh, nerd kit, which was nice. You know, uh, it came with this little, uh, you know, tester board, and you put it all together, and I went through their long tutorial, and after a couple hours, I was able to do things like make an LED blink, or make a series of LEDs blink, um, and put a, a message out on LCD screen. That was pretty cool, but as far as I got, I couldn't figure out, I, you know, I hooked up a motor, I couldn't get the motor going, I tried contacting guys on the site, they were very nice, but it was just over my head, a lot of the stuff. Well, lately I've been reading a lot, and hearing a lot, and seeing a lot about the Arduino board, which I got mine in the mail last night. Unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to play with it last night, but this morning I played with it, and within one hour, I was able to do a bunch of things like this. This is my Arduino board, hooked to USB, got a little reset button here. When I press the reset button, it's going to send Hello World to my computer. So get ready to press it, come up here and I'll press it, and there we go. Once again, my Arduino board hooked through USB, up here in my terminal, going to connect to it. It starts outputting blank data until I hit a key on my keyboard. And then you can see here, it puts the ASCII number of the key that I'm pressing. So if I hit enter, it should be 13. Spacebar, I think, is 32. Yeah, and then, uh, you know, I can just start hitting keys. And it gives me the ASCII output of that key. So, next step, control the server motor with my keyboard. Since the server motor will turn to a specific point when given a number, I've just set it up now so when I press a key on the keyboard, it takes the ASCII uh, output of that key, for example, enter would be 13, and it will turn the motor to that point in its range. So I'll give you an example. I will hit F here, and it turns to whatever value F is, looks like it's uh, with the output on my screen here, 102, and now I'll hit enter, I'll go back to 13, I can hit spacebar which is 32, so you can see it's a little bit of movement between enter and spacebar, but a larger number, as I said, like F, which is 102, it turns a little bit more. So, I've been playing with my Arduino for about an hour now, I've been able to control LEDs, get data from the Arduino to the computer, from the computer to the Arduino, and I've been able to control a servo motor, not only with a potentiometer knob, right there, but with keyboard presses on my keyboard. I'm loving the Arduino board so far. So, I mean, I learned how to do all that in about an hour, which is just amazing. The Arduino board is open source, both uh, the hardware for it and the software for it, and there's plenty of example code out there, but I figure even though there's plenty of example code out there, it wouldn't hurt for me to do some tutorials on it. So, if you're interested, my viewers are interested in something like that, learning how to do stuff like this, let me know with this video, rate the video, comment, let me know, and if you're interested, I'll start doing videos on, on, on the Arduino board. And uh, the board is cheap, this is the an Arduino board, cost me about $30, $35. Great thing about it is since it's open source, there's a lot of uh, uh, cheaper imitation versions out there. And I've even seen uh, little uh, tutorials on how to make your own. And I actually think I have most of these parts lying around because it's actually using the same chip as the Nerd Kit. And I bought like six or seven of these. So in the future, I might make my own and I'll do a tutorial on that if you want. So. Let me know if you're interested, rate this video, uh, you know, hi if you want it, comment, let me know if you want to see tutorials on this. Thank you once again for watching. Visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this. Well, this wasn't a tutorial, but more videos.